Hello guys, in previous video we created our data set class. In this video we are going to create our image to matrix class. So let's say python file image matrix dot py and we are going to import two libraries cv2 and import numpy library for math operations as np then class image to matrix class okay then it's it's constructor okay now we are going to take two inputs uh, first one is uh, image which we are going to change into matrix and what should be matrix height and width so let's say image width and height which is required okay now store this, these values okay sorry sorry this should be this variable and image width image width and image height equals to image height and we are going to store one more variable image size and it will be image width into image height we are going to use it later so we are just storing that okay now we are going to create another method get matrix so it is a method so we can use like that self okay so it will return method to our main class so we are going to add images in our matrix so what should be uh, size of our matrix its column size should be number of equals to be uh, number of images because you have seen in this video uh, that in size of matrix will be n square that is the size of image and t number of images so that will be size of our matrix its uh, width will be uh, its column will be equals to total number of images so column equals to length of self dot image name means how much are images okay uh, let's change variables to image paths so it will be more clear to understand not must be confused self dot length of image paths so this is our column so now we can create our matrix image matrix equals to numpy dot zeros means empty matrix and per its row will be equals to image size and its column will be equals to number of images so this is our ma image matrix so now we have created our empty matrix we just have to fill it with uh, images value so we are going to create an loop so let's create a variable i equals to zero so for name sorry path in self dot image path means we are going take path of each image and then we are going to read that image and i already told we are going to use gray scale image so gray cv2 dot i am read and path of that image and zero and we are using zero to tell that we need gray image we not need another channel so after taking gray image we are going to resize resize this image gray resized because i already told that uh, all images will be image width into image height so cv2 dot resize image okay and resize this gray image and resize it into image width comma image height
so this is our uh, gray image so let's change into matrix so matrix gray will be np dot as matrix so it will convert this image into a matrix okay but we do, does not need matrix we need a vector so for vector we are going to uh, use function matrix gray dot revel and this function is used for convert this matrix into a vector now we act, have actor we just have to add this into our matrix so we can add in matrix very easily just telling where we have to add we have to complete full fill full column but in first means we have to fill full column first full column so this tells that add entry in each each means box of first column okay so it will be equals to vector okay and we have to keep increment our i i and after creating our uh, completing total image we have to return our matrix so now our code is complete for image to matrix class let's understand once again first we created our class image to matrix class then calls its constructor to get inputs like image path image width and image height and stored in its local variables like image path image width image height and image size image width into image height then we created a function for uh, return matrix in this we created an empty matrix with zeros in which number of uh, rows is equals to image size a column is equal to total number of images okay so then we created a loop which uh, goes from in all paths one by one and read that gray image we uh, added zero for gray image then we re resized this image to uh, image width into image height and then we converted this image uh, into a matrix then we created into a vector using revel and then we added it this into a matrix and we incremented iota i for loop and then we returned this matrix so this is our image to matrix class and that's all for this video in next video i'm going to um, create class for our algorithm so that's all for video thanks for watching please like video and subscribe channel thanks